Good morning and welcome back to A Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Um, hope you're well. It's a beautiful day. Another day I'm going to be in the garden. In fact, if you do get some background noise, that's because my crazy family are running around the garden and having a lot of fun. So you might get a little bit of background noise for that, but hey, it's nice to hear people having fun. Anyway, how are you doing? It's, um, I've forgotten how long now this has been going on for. It's been going on forever and it will seem to be keep it seems to you know it's going to keep going on like this as well so you know we've just got to get on with it make the most out of it stay safe stay home and try and stay sane well one of you lovely lot asked me um if i could do a list of sandalwood fragrances so i'm going to do that right now for you um i've got 10 fragrances here that are you know that contain sandalwood or use sandalwood as either the star of the show or a supporting material um, to create a you know a beautiful fragrance with some sandalwood in it basically now um, first and foremost sandalwood is obviously from a wood it normally comes from either Australia or India it's an incredibly expensive material I think it's probably I think it's touted as the second most expensive um, wood on the market so it's a, a very precious material um, and as such sometimes it can be you know perfumes that are very expensive but sometimes it appear, you know appears in sort of designer frags and some real cheapies too. So in this list, unfortunately, that it is a little niche heavy, but there are um, there's at least one designer in here, and there's one out and out cheapie in here as well. Um, so there should be something in this list for everyone. Now, once I've put the video up, or Rich has edited it and put it up, you know, we'll be there to obviously answer any questions. So if there's anything you want to know specifically about each fragrance, then please message us, and I'll come back to you. It's going to be quite quick because we've got quite a lot to get through. So I'm going to use the often said whistle stop tour analogy these aren't in any real order apart from the number one and I think you're probably going to guess what that's going to be already sorry to be repetitive but I have to be honest about my feelings for perfumes so right let's start with this one I reviewed it quite recently and this is Castile Rizal from La Taffa shocking bottle warm spicy sandalwood fragrance beautiful fragrance this is so so good for the money Huge 100ml bottle, really, really cheap. I mean, I think I paid about £12 for this one. So well worth having a look at. So that's kind of like, this is the cheapest one of, of the batch. But this is one I think everyone, if you've got remote interest in sandalwood, you should certainly get a bottle of this because this is beautiful. It is quite masculine, but again, um, you know, friends of mine that are females really, really enjoy it. Um, so it is unisex, but it has got a slight masculine edge. So if you're a lady or a female or a woman or a girl, um, and you quite like a masculine um, fragrance, this is an excellent option for you, and it's a real cheapy too. Okay, at the other end of the, of the spectrum, my next choice is quite an expensive fragrance, and this is Vridi from Auto Parisi. This is a green, um, it's, it's basically the opening of Vridi is kind of like about mint and cloves, and then it gets green and it gets earthy. The sandalwood in this doesn't really make an appearance until the dry down hits, and then it stays as a kind of a, a spicy sandalwood, um, sort of greeny, um, sort of long lasting sandalwood. Quite a, a tame auto parisi in terms of projection and sillage, but it's quite long lasting, well, it's very long lasting actually, and it's lovely. But you really do need to try this one because it is going to definitely be polarizing. It smells a little bit like Amouage's Bracken Man. If you've smelt that, you'll know roughly where you're going with this one. It is um, quite a clove and mint dominated opening that isn't, isn't going to be to everybody else's taste. But to me, I think this is a stunning fragrance and I love it. But not the most use of sandalwood, but sandalwood is definitely here and it certainly comes into the dry down. So there you have it there. Right, next up, we have from the house of Javoy, we have L'Enfant Terrible. Now this, I reviewed this fairly recently. I'd love the smell of this, but the performance on it isn't fantastic. It's, um, you get a really, really good three hours of projection and performance, and then it kind of dies off quite quickly as well. It's quite alarming just how quickly you lose it. It does stay as a skin scent for quite a long time after that initial three hours, but I wish the three hours lasted longer. If it did, then I'd wear it a lot more than, than I do at the moment. It has got cumin in it. It's got dates in it. There's a tiny bit of um, citrus in there as well. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's sort of exciting, it's uh, exotic smelling, and it's a really, really nice fragrance. I just wish it performed a bit better. Um, the two, now there's two in this list from Javoy. They seem to know what they're doing with sandalwood, something, you know, in a, in a brilliant, brilliant way. Um, and the sandalwood is the star of the show. It carries the whole thing together. Beautiful fragrance, shame about the performance, but well worth having a look at. Okay, next up we have 
This is him from Zadig and Voltaire. This is beautiful. This actually reminds me of another much more expensive fragrance which is in this list, which I will get to shortly. So here we have uh, a kind of a peppery, um, pencil shavingy, spicy opening. Um, there's a bit of incense in here and then it gets quite sweet and creamy. There's tonka bean or vanilla, and that combines with the sandalwood to give a lovely dry down. This is, um, this is actually the, the perfume I'm wearing at the moment because I really, really enjoy this one. It doesn't get talked about very often, um, and it's certainly never been hyped particularly, but I think this is really, really good. It's a fun fragrance. It's, uh, you know, this company does kind of play on its sort of rock and roll image, and it is something that is a party fragrance. I have worn this to a couple of social gatherings, and it has got me compliments, um, if you're looking for compliments. So it's not a bad one for that. It's a lovely, lovely smell though. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, and I'm just surprised I don't hear some, you know, much more about it. Cause it's, uh, it's one I tested on paper and then went back the next day, uh, you know, got home basically straight after testing it. Um, and only on paper I had, and then I managed to get it online. I think I've got this from Amazon for about 29 pounds. So you can have bargains with this one and it's well worth looking at. Performance is good. You get, Oh, it's lovely. It really is nice. You get about seven or eight hours um, good performance out of this as well. So if you were going to go out for the, you know, to a bar or go out for the evening or something like that, this would be a really good choice. Totally, I mean, it's the, the Zadig and Voltaire, they have like male fragrances and female fragrances, and this is in the male sort of section. But um, I think this is unisex. I think uh, a confident woman would absolutely love this and it will smell amazing on them as well. It's good fun. I really enjoy this one and well worth you considering. All right, next up we have this baby, which has been, um, I've never actually done a review of this on its own, um, but it's made it to quite a few lists, so you will have seen this before. And this is Geroff's Zanzibar or Najaf. It's from the Oud Stars collection, and it's certainly not one that I would recommend anybody buy and buy. I love this fragrance, but I don't get to wear it very often because my wife hates it. Um, it's quite a sour, oudy um, opening, and then that kind of with some spices, and, and it all gets a bit crazy, and it's quite strong, and then it softens off and dries down into this sort of um, non-sweet sandalwood, which is beautiful. I absolutely adore it, but as I said, my wife hates it, so I only really get to wear this when she's out, or if I'm going out without. Well, I'm not getting. No one's going out, are they? So I will only wear this when my wife is at work and I'm at home. Basically, is what we're saying. So that's that one. Next up, we have possibly the best interpretation of sandalwood that I own, and that is GOF Trumper's Sandalwood Cologne. This is beautiful, absolutely stunning, and such a great price as well. I think this is like 55 pounds from Trumpers themselves. And it, it's just beautiful. There's citrus, there's some spices, there's a most amazing sandalwood that just carries everything through. Now, this is called a cologne, um, which I find quite amusing because this is an extremely long lasting fragrance. It has better performance than a lot of the more expensive um, sandalwood fragrances out there on the market. So certainly have a look at it. Don't be put off by it being a cologne because that doesn't mean anything. This is a really, really long, long lasting, fabulous fragrance. Do you know what? I might wear this this evening. Uh, I love it. And I, 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 I've mentioned this before. Sandalwood is often, I think, people think it's a winter fragrance. I love wearing sandalwood dominant fragrances in the evening, especially after a hot day when you've been out in the sun all day. Like today, you know, I'm going to be doing a ton of gardening after this. I'm going to be in the sun all day. And then in the evening when I have my shower, I'm going to probably go with the Trumpers Sandalwood Cologne just because it feels so lovely on your skin when you've been hot. I think it's an amazing thing. I might be on my own. You know, I might be the only one that likes doing that. Who knows? But try it. It's a great idea. Right, next up, we have Costume National Homme. This is delicious. I sent a uh, sample to my friend, the queen of niche fragrances on uh, Instagram. She adored it. I think she's definitely going to be getting a bottle of this. This is amazing. You need to like a little spice, um, but this is a spiced sandalwood. It's beautiful. I um, I can't really say a lot more things about it. It reminds me a little bit of Santal 33 mixed with Chanel's Egoiste. Now, Ch Chanel's Egoiste, the original one, not the Platinum Egoiste, but the original Egoiste, that's probably the, the you know, the most um, widely acclaimed sandalwood fragrances out there. It's probably the, you know, the, the one that everybody knows. Now, I don't own it, and the simple reason is because it sits so close to this and this, there's no point. I've got you know, these are quite close as it is, so I don't need a third fragrance that smells pretty much the same. So, um, slightly different to Egoist. Uh, I think it's a little little more interesting. Um, you may not, but certainly one to have a look at. And obviously, try and sample Egoist as well, because uh, 
that smells an awful lot like the Trumpers, but it is slightly different and it may be, you know, maybe one for you. Okay, now we go back to the House of Javoy for Incident Diplomatique. This is a banger! This is a beast mode fragrance. This is all about two types of vetiver and patchouli blended on that perfect bed of sandalwood that um, Javoy do so well. Monstrous performance. I think this is like a, an 80s powerhouse. It just kicks out. It's glorious. Gets compliments, but it is a bit divisive because it is very, very strong um, and it's very, very loud. Um, because of that, I think it's one that you will nef definitely need to sample first, but I thoroughly recommend this. I, I love wearing this, especially to work. It's brilliant. Um, absolutely wonderful performance. Biblical, you could say. All right, I've got two left. Um, and these are my, my two favorites. Uh, and unfortunately they are both um, rather expensive, although bargains can be had. So my second favorite of all time is Ivory Root by Geroff. This is just delicious. It is spicy sandalwood with all sorts of little bits and bobs and nuances coming in. I absolutely adore this. I tried to put this up against Andy Towers' uh, Le du Desert du Moracane, um, because I think they're kind of similar and I prefer the Ivory Root. The performance on this is, 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 is okay. It's very long lasting, um, but the projection and the sillage isn't massive to start off with. It's just, uh, it goes on, goes on a long time, but it's subtle and I love it for that. This also reminds me a little of this, or this reminds me a little of this. So if you're looking to get the uh, Ivory Root on a budget, maybe try this first. But again, as with all of these, you're gonna to need to sample them before you blind buy them. I got this in a Facebook group for silly money. Um, there's a little, you know, this is, a, this is meant to be a partial, but I think I've got about 90% of the bottle. And I and this is the old style bottle as well. So I got it quite cheaply, like I got it for not a lot more than I paid for that. And that's the honesty, you know, the honest uh, truth in that one. I got this for an absolute steal from a friend in a Facebook group. So please, you know, if you're looking for expensive fragrances, have a look in your Facebook groups first to see if anyone's selling partials and things like that, because, you know, you, there are bargains to be had out there. Okay, the number one, my favorite sandwood. Guess where it's from? Yes, it's an auto crazy. Uh, and this is Auto Perese's Seminalis. This is divine. I could technically wear this every day, all day. It's another one that's really got into my psyche. I love this fragrance so much. It's calming, it's smooth, it's cool. It just, ah, oh, it just, it makes me feel good and it takes away a lot of worry and, and things like that. So I absolutely love it for that. The presentation is beautiful. Bottle cap, I love this one. This is my favorite bottle cap from the, um, from the collection. And obviously, you know, the brass sprayer, all the rest of it, all there, absolutely gorgeous. What you get with this, it's, creamy it's sweet it's a little bit dirty there's something a tiny bit skanky in there maybe there's a little tiny hint of a sweat vibe deep in there a little bit of chocolate maybe a little bit of cacao possibly even a tiny bit of oud nestling in the back and then it's got that wonderful musk that alessandro gaultieri does so well with this sweet creamy sandalwood i'm not going to go into why it's called seminalis i'll let the internet provide you with that information but it's a bit grim but please understand this does not smell <laughs> in any way crude. This is a sophisticated, glorious fragrance. Um, totally unisex, totally beautiful. Very, very long lasting with decent performance. It belts out to start off with, uh, and then this little patchouli sharp sort of patchouli note comes into it, and it just sets it all off. Because it could, the way the perfume is put together and the materials that he's used could easily have made one big, thick, cloying mess, which would be sort of like, you know, unwearable. But it's not. It takes you on a real journey and it shows off all its little notes and nuances and, you know, the accords that come off it, break it up. So it's always interesting. It's always warm. It's always, oh, it's a cuddle. It's a cuddle in a bottle. Um, and it's absolutely divine. So, you know, I love all of these but this one I really, really love. So um, please, you know, try and sample them. If you want a bit more information about each of them, then please hit us up, ask some questions, and we will answer them for you. Listen, thank you very much for your time. I really, really genuinely hope you're doing okay out there, and let's get through this. Let's stay safe. Let's, you know, follow the advice of whatever governments, you know, that, you know, wherever you live. And I think, you know, generally it's just batten down the hatches. Don't go out unless you really, really have to. Um, try and do everything you can to stay sane. Um, we will try and keep these videos coming. Um, I know some of you have been messaging me and you know saying how grateful you are that we're making them. We're grateful to make them.
this helps us, keeps us sane. This is you know, our thing to do, um, and I'm glad that you're enjoying them. Welcome aboard to all the new subscribers, and thank you for your support to all my all, all, all our existing sub subscribers. It's been a, a real journey, and we're enjoying it, so we will keep at it. Listen, we will be back with another video. Oh, sorry, just before I do that, if there's anything else you want to know a bit more about, or if there's any other videos that you'd like me to try and make, let us know, put, give us a message, and we will crack on and try and get them done. So listen, thank you very much for your time. Stay safe, and we will see you on the next video. Cheers, and bye.